Hello, welcome to Neil Scribe. The Hubble Space Telescope amassed an incredible 30-year legacy allowing for so many discoveries including the age of the universe and the mysterious dark energy. Although Hubble made over 1 million observations throughout the years, it has only imaged about 0.1% of the sky. Wouldn't it be outstanding to have 100 Hubbles in space expanding our view of the universe? Well that's what the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope or Roman will essentially be and it's one of two next-gen space telescopes launching in the next five years. Roman is slated to launch in 2025 and it's named after Nancy Roman, the first female executive at NASA, the mother of Hubble and pioneer in astronomy. And now we need to cover arc seconds or arc secs, which is a unit of angular measurement. We should all know there's 360 degrees in a circle, split one degree into 60 parts. Each part is an arc minute. Split an arc minute into 60 parts and each of those parts is an arc sec. And an arc sec is a tiny part of the sky, it's the diameter of a quarter viewed at 4.8 kilometers away. The camera on the Hubble has a field of view of 130 by 130 arc secs, while the Roman's camera has a field of view of 2700 by 1380 arc secs. So the Roman is like a fleet of 100 Hubbles operating in sync. This is a picture of the Andromeda galaxy, it took Hubble 650 hours to image the blue outlined area. Now Roman will be able to image the entire galaxy in just three hours. And one of Roman's missions is to gather measurements of the shapes and distances of millions of galaxies. These measurements will be used to create 3D maps that will determine the growth within individual galaxies and the expansion of the universe. And the maps will help scientists understand more about dark energy that makes up 68% of the universe and is causing the universe expansion to accelerate. And we don't know much about dark energy outside of these characteristics. And in addition to its awesome camera, Roman will be equipped with an incredible coronagraph that will allow it to observe exoplanets far better than Hubble can. A coronagraph is essentially like sunglasses for a telescope, they block out the glare of stars, and Romans will be 100 to 1000 times more capable than any other ever launched into space. With Roman's chronograph, astronomers will finally be able to observe Earth-like exoplanets that are between 10 million and 10 billion times fainter than the stars they orbit. Another capability of Roman that I'm really excited about is it will allow us to observe what lies in the heart of our Milky Way galaxy for the first time. This region of the galaxy is hidden by dust but Roman's infrared sensors will be able to see right through it. I imagine astronomers are salivating to have Roman operational. At 260 by 130 arc secs, Webb's field of view is not nearly as large as Roman's but it's still 15 times larger than Hubble's. Overall, Webb will be the largest, most powerful space telescope ever launched. It's capable of detecting the heat signature of a bumblebee at the distance of the moon. With a 6.5 meter diameter, Webb's mirror will have 6 times the surface area of Hubble's. Webb will be able to observe longer wavelengths than Hubble between 0.6 and 28 microns compared to Hubble's 0.8 to 2.5 microns. And this is key to observing galaxies in the distant past because as they move away from us, the wavelengths of their light shifts to the infrared spectrum which ranges between 0.75 microns to several hundred. Scientists have likely already observed as far back in the past that is possible by observing the cosmic microwave background or CMB using radio telescopes. CMB is the oldest electromagnetic radiation in the universe emitted around 370 years after the Big Bang which occurred 13.8 billion years ago. Now the time between the CMB radiation and the formation of the first stars is called the dark age of the universe because there was no light, just a fog of hydrogen atoms. Scientists believe that the dark age ended a few hundred million years after the Big Bang at around 13.3 billion years in the past. Now Hubble can observe some of the earliest galaxies at around 13.1 billion years into the past. So with Webb, scientists hope to discover what the first galaxies in the universe looked like and when they were formed. And Webb will be used to solve many other mysteries of the universe such as studying the atmospheres of exoplanets. Like Roman, Webb will also have a coronagraph that will enable it to image exoplanets closer to their stars. It is also equipped with the near-infrared spectrograph that will allow it to identify the color, vegetation, rotation, and weather of the planets. Webb is the most substantial mission in space since the ISS in my opinion. NASA, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency have been collaborating on the telescope since 1996 and has involved 20 countries. It is genuinely a global achievement. Since 2006 the budget estimate has ballooned from 4.5 billion to almost 10 billion dollars today. So there is a lot riding on this mission not only because of the money spent but also because of the potential discoveries that Webb will make possible. 
I can't help think about how far humanity has come from ancient astronomers trying to make sense of the night sky, or even how far we've come since Edwin Hubble confirmed that our galaxy is just one of billions or perhaps trillions of other galaxies in the universe. It's incredible how much we can learn from light. Alright, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.